turning back to your forecast now, we've seen some tough weather out there in parts of North Texas. Let's go over to Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett right now. We saw some big hail in parts of North Texas. Yeah, and that was the big concern today. We knew that the environment was pretty much primed for some storms that could have some really large hail. The time lapse from about 7 o'clock this evening shows some of the storms that were moving into two parts of the Metroplex that did drop some large hail in some parts of the Metroplex as they moved their way on through. And now going into tonight, we're still seeing the radar relatively active in some spots. You're able to see up in parts of our Red River counties. That's where we do have a squall line kind of coming together along the cold front. Let me back up the radar, though, by about six hours, and you can see these storms that developed in parts of Johnson County, Ellis County, some of them splitting that into parts of Dallas County and into parts of Rockwell County. Uh, those were the storms that produced hail up to the size of two inches in diameter. Now what we're seeing is the cold front continue to slide its way down towards the south and east. So on that northern edge, that's where we do have a line of storms that are really coming together that has a severe thunderstorm warning for Fannin and Lamar until 11 o'clock. That line sliding its way to the southeast very fast at 55 miles per hour. So near the Commerce area at 1039, Idabel right around about 1048 in parts of Oklahoma picked in about 1110. But the storms were pretty in some spots. We have some pictures to show you. Take a look at some of the pictures that we saw. This is from uh, Lake Louisville tweeted to me. You're able to see that really tall and uh, thunderstorm anvil uh, from these storms that developed. So beautiful there, lit by the sunshine. But then this is what a lot of us also saw here in North Texas. These are called Mamatis clouds. This is uh, from Daryl Brown. This is in Maypearl. And you look at that and you're thinking, wow, that's that's really dangerous. So let me break that down a little bit more for you. So as you take a look at the Mamatis clouds, you see kind of uh, these little pockets that are on the bottom side of it. It's a pouch like structure due to sinking air. Uh, normally, when you look at this, you're thinking this is probably going to be a tornado doesn't mean a tornado is about to form. Actually, when you see these cloud structures, it's usually seen after the worst of a thunderstorm has passed. So on, in that anvil that we showed you, you have that sinking air sometimes on the backside. So those are called the Mattis clouds. That's what we saw today. What's also interesting for us tonight is that parts of the severe thunderstorm watch have been canceled for Denton County, also Tarrant County into Johnson County. Still have it for the east sides of the Metroplex until 11 o'clock because of the cold front that's moving through. The future cats picking up on still some of those showers and maybe some strong storms as we're going to be seeing the cold front slide its way down towards the south and the east. Right now, DFW, we have a north northwest wind at 32, gusting up to 50. The front's moving through. Through. Dew point still at the low 50s. Temperature now down to 72. 15 minutes ago, it was 80 degrees. 66 now in Denton. We're at 62 in Gainesville. We're at 67 in Bridgeport. Winds right now sustained at 20 in Bridgeport to 25 in Denton. So cold front will have the gusty winds with it, but then by tomorrow morning, upper 40s to the low 50s all the way. And then going into tomorrow afternoon, 75 degrees and sunny skies. Today we had 85 degrees and really humid conditions on the way. So the forecast shows for the weekend 75 degrees Sunday back up to 85 sunny conditions on the way. So as the cold front moves through, you're clear of the severe weather and then going into next week. Keep the umbrella around showers and storms back into the forecast. But 85 today, Rook by Thursday, high of only 66.